In this video, we're going to look at how to connect the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener Controller up to an Amazon Alexa device. One of the prerequisites that we need to have taken care of before we can connect these two together is to have the eKairo Smart Garage Door Controller connected within the Smart Life application. Here you can see that if I go into Smart Life, I have my garage door device that I'd previously connected, and when I hit the switch button, you'll be able to hear the relay within the controller toggling. That tells me that I know that the app is controlling the eKairo Smart Garage Door Controller. Now that we verify that we have that connected, we can actually go into the Amazon Alexa app that is connected with this Amazon Alexa device. To get started, we would go into the menu button in the top left hand corner and we're going to go to skills and games. Our first step is going to be to add the Smart Life skill within the Amazon Alexa app. That will take all of the devices that I have in Smart Life and it will transfer them over to the Amazon Alexa app. So next I will go to the search icon in the top right hand corner and I will type in Smart Life. Smart Life should show up. You can select it and then select Enable to Use. Now when you select Enable to Use, you will use your credentials that you created when you set up your Smart Life application. And once you have your credentials in, you will hit Link Now. And select Authorize. What this will do is it will link up your Smart Life application and your Amazon Alexa so that the two can communicate and look at what devices you have within Smart Life. Once that is completed, hit Done. And we do not need to discover devices since all the devices will actually carry over with the Smart Life application. So now we can hit Cancel. Now if we go into devices, we're going to be able to see all the devices that we have within Smart Life. Here you can see that I have a new device, which is Garage Door, which will mirror what I have within Smart Life. If I want to change this device within the Alexa app, I can actually change it here within the Smart Life application, and those changes will mirror over. Here I've changed it to Garage Door Test, and when I go back to Smart Life, you can see that that device is now named Garage Door Test. And now this is important when you are actually using Alexa to control your devices because whatever the name of the device is in the Amazon Alexa application is what you will be able to trigger that device with when you're using your voice commands. Now if we were to try to control the eKairo Smart Garage Door Controller with our voice currently, it would not work. Alexa, open Garage Door Test. Please use your usual garage door opener. In this example, if we tried to use Alexa to control our eKairo Smart Garage Door Controller with our voice, it would not function. Before we can have it actually functioning, we need to go into Devices, go to All Devices, go into our device, which in this case is called Garage Door Test, and turn on Open by Voice. To enable Open by Voice, we need to set a pin. In this case, I will set it as 1234. I will confirm that PIN, and then it requires me to type in my Amazon password. Now that I have confirmed my password and set my PIN, Open by Voice will now be available, and I can now use Alexa to trigger the garage door opener. Alexa, open garage door test. What's your voice code for garage door test? One, two, three, four. Opening. Hang on. The garage door test is open. Now you can see that I was able to use Alexa to open the device garage door test. Now that I have Alexa set up with this garage door controller for voice control, there's other things that I can also do, such as ask Alexa what the current status of my garage door is. Alexa, is garage door test open or closed? Checking. Hang on. The garage door test is open. So right now Alexa thinks that the garage door is open because the sensors are not close to each other. Now if I were to take the sensors, place them close together, the Smart Life application would think that the garage door is closed and then I could ask Alexa again if the garage door is open or closed and I would get the correct response. Alexa. 
Is garage door test open or closed? Checking. Hang on. The garage door test is closed. So now Alexa knows that the garage door has been closed because the sensors are placed close to each other. So Alexa can not only be used to open or close your garage door, but it can also be used to verify the current status of the garage door. In the event that you had multiple garage doors, you can go into the Alexa app, you can edit the names, and then you can call that garage door by that name. Maybe this garage door is garage door west, or garage door one. Now that the name has been changed, Alexa, open garage door west. What's your voice code for garage door west? One, two, three, four. Opening. Hang on. The garage door west is open. Now Alexa can trigger the certain garage doors by name, depending on what you have them titled within the Alexa application. In this video we went through verifying that the Smart Life application is connected to the eKairo Smart Garage Door Controller. Then we added Smart Life to the Alexa application. We set up the eKairo Smart Garage Door Controller to work with Alexa by setting a pin and then we showed how you can actually change those names of the garage door devices if you have multiple garage doors or if you'd like to call them by a different name. Specific commands that we went through were open the garage door, closing the garage door, and verifying if it's open or closed by saying, Alexa, is your garage door name open or closed? If you have any other questions about using Alexa with your eKairo Smart Garage Door Controller, please go to eKairo.com and select the Contact Us button.